guys part two of the this and that tag right here right now aren't you all lucky and this one should be a lot quicker because there's less questions um to part one so i'll just crack on and get started as you can see i'm in the same clothes i filmed back to back i didn't see the point in like waiting um so no i'm not being dirty i'm wearing the same clothes and makeup and everything second day in a row i am actually filming back to back because i know a lot of people are like if you've got the same clothes on it's like can we not film back to back? Anyway, rant over, let's get started. So this one is going to be nails, body and hair. Um, we'll start with nails, even though I can't really give you an opinion on this part because I have none, as you can see, because I am a nibbler and I always said muncher then, but no, I'm a nibbler when it comes to my nails. So nails, number one, OPI or China Glaze. Uh, I have to say OPI because I think they're the ones that you can get in this country. I don't think you can get China Glaze unless you really hunt it out. Um, from what I've sort of read and heard on the internet from other bloggers and YouTubers and stuff. Um, but I'm not really that fussed. I'd probably just stick with like natural collection or something if I had the choice. Um, long or short nails? I'm gonna have to say short because obviously my nails are short. I have had long acrylic nails in the past and I couldn't do anything with them. They were so frustrating because I went from like shorter than this because these are like actually got a tiny tiny bit of white on and I've like nibbled mine like down to the like halfway down before now um and I just couldn't do anything with them I couldn't text with them or nothing and I was like how do people do this but then I suppose if you've like got naturally long nails and um you've like never had short nails and obviously you've adapted to do things like that but I just it just frustrated the hell out of me um next question acrylic or natural nails I'm gonna say natural nails. I have had acrylic nails in the past, but horror story right now. I had them put on and then that day I was working at a pub, I rushed down to change a barrel and I got my fingers caught between two full barrels. One of them being Strongbow, which is why I don't drink Strongbow anymore. Um, and they were so heavy and literally like the acrylic took my nails off with them. And I wasn't best impressed and they went all infected and horrible and then I had to have them taken off properly at the salon and she was really mean to me and was like, oh, well, you shouldn't have been working with them. And I'm like, so everyone who has acrylic nails is a dosser, are they? So I wasn't best impressed with that. So I always have natural nails now, um, unless they're like the stick on ones for a night out. But even then I usually end up ripping them off because I can't be doing with them. I can't do anything with them like I've just said so. Um, yeah, natural nails all the way for me. Um, bright nail varnish or dark nail varnish? I prefer like dark nail varnish. I prefer like the classic reds, the really nice berry colours, um, greyish, is that what it's called? I don't know. Greyish colours. Um, but I do think bright nails can look really, really nice in the summer. I think it just depends on the person and what they're wearing and things like that. And number five, flower or no flower. I'm assuming this means designs. Um, and yeah, I do like designs. I can't really envisage them on my hands. Um, I'm trying to like, I, I've asked Isla when she comes to stay and my lovely friend Isla, I'll link her and her blog below because she's great, go check her out. She's got a YouTube channel as well. She does some amazing, amazing designs and they're so cute and I'm always thinking, oh, I need nails because they're beautiful. And I've asked her to do some for me when she comes to stay with me this summer. But um, I don't know. I, I think I'd just be like, they do look right. I don't know. I'd be worried about chipping them and stuff. So I'm not sure. We'll see what happens when she does them. I might just fall head over heels in love with designs. Um, so yeah, that was nails. <laughs> body stuff. Number one, perfume or body spray? Perfume all the way. Can't be doing with body spray. It's very sort of, teenagery I find body spray and it doesn't last as long on the skin and I always just feel like so much more put together with a good perfume. Number two, lotion or body butter? Body butter. I have used lotions in the past and I do use the um, Garnier for extra dry skin lotion um, on my legs but most of the time I prefer body butter just because they're better scented, they keep the skin moisturised, they're a lot thicker um, and I find them less greasy as well a lot of the time, so I do like my um, body butters, definitely. And number three, body wash or soap? I prefer body wash. I'm obsessed with Dove um, body wash at the moment in the shower. And it's a really pampering one with um, 
shea butter and vanilla in it and it just smells awesome I, I could just sniff the bottle constantly i know that sounds really weird but i'll just go into the bathroom and like walk away like, i can't i can't get enough of it and it was on offer and i need to go and get a backup because if it runs out and it goes up like to like really expensive prices as dove can be or what i would consider to be expensive for a body wash um i will be gutted so i'm in love with that scent um and then number four lush or other bath companies i'm gonna say lush purely because um if i did have a bath because i just have a shower if i did have a bath i would be up in those bath bombs like no one's business i'd be like i'm having that one i'm having that one i'm having that one i get so jealous when people say oh i've got a lush bath bomb i'm gonna use it tonight because i'm like oh i need a bath um so when i go away and there's a bath in the hotel room then i will definitely be like I am taking a lush bath bomb with me just so I can enjoy one for once because I've never actually used one which is a bit disappointing but still. And then moving on to hair which I can't really talk about because it's still looking an absolute state and oh, I've just had enough of my hair today. Hair. Okay number one curly or straight. My hair is naturally very wavy curly frizzy and I love it straight so I'm going to say straight. Although if it was long, I would want some kind of like curl wave in it because I don't think poker straight hair suits everyone. I like my hair to lift in, but straight, if that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> number two, bun or ponytail? Bun. Usually a messy one, but never a ponytail. Um, <clears throat> I do wear ponytails, but it just annoys me because it like tickles the back of my neck there and I'm like, oh, it's really annoying me. And then I just have to like tie it all up into a messy bun or something anyway. Um, but I do... I do like the bun donuts, so I use that quite a lot for my hair. Um, number three, bobby pins or butterfly clips? Bobby pins, I'm assuming mean grips in England. <laughs> grips all the way. I don't think I've used butterfly clips since I was like five, I'm not sure. Um, hairspray or gel? Hairspray. I associate gel with men, so I'm like, I can't imagine like using a gel on my hair. It would just feel like I was stealing Dave's like, hair gel. I don't know, it'd be a bit weird. Um, long or short hair? I really am trying to grow my hair quite long. Recently it was quite long and then I had it cut off because I wanted it all one length because it was inverted so it went back up to being here and I'm growing my layers out, they'll be cut off and then it'll be down all the way. I wouldn't mind having it about there because I think that would really suit me and make me look a bit younger, I'm not sure. But at the moment it's quite short, it's like long bob length. Um, Number six, side sweep or full fringe bang slash bangs. I have, not that you can see at the moment, but you have seen in my previous videos, a full bang. Um, and you've also seen in my previous videos that I've had sweeping bangs or fringe, because I'm from England, don't say bangs if you don't have to, Helen. Um, and I like both. I think the full fringe makes me look younger because um, I'm 25 now, um, well I will be this year and I could, I, you know, I need all the help I can because I am, I am like seriously freaking out about being 25. I'm like, oh my god, I'm a quarter of a century old. So I think the fringe makes me look slightly younger um, and my dad had a bit of a moment where he told me he didn't like it and then he was like, actually you look dead young, you look like you did when you were a kid and then he got a bit nostalgic so um, that was nice <laughs> but like... Um, I have had a side fringe as well and I, I like both so I can't really choose for that one and number seven up or down I do wear my hair up quite a lot because I have to for work but I do like wearing it down Dave prefers me to wear it down um he always has done but there I just can't be bothered with it most of the time I'm like ah scrape it back um especially for work as well because working with food you have to have your hair up um so yeah I do wear it up most of the time purely because it just gets in my way like but I obviously I like wearing it down as well so I would have to say up but I do prefer down so that was the end of part two as I said before I'm not tagging anyone specifically I got it right that time specifically say it with me specifically I'm so happy I managed to get it right um <laughs> I'm not tagging anyone specifically but if you do um want to do this feel free to leave it as a video response um and like i'd really be interested if and if you didn't leave it as a video response for you to tweet me the links it's at superfluous underscore b um and obviously let me know if you've done it so then i can watch it because i really do like watching tags like this 
I'll leave all of my links below. I will leave Isla's links below and I will see you all soon in my next video. Have a really good day. Bye.